Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel High Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting quick, I would say like a relaxing algebra question. We know that the product a times b equal to 24 and we know that the sum a plus b equal to 2 and we need to find our a and b. If you have your solution, your answer, your approach, you can also write your approach down into the comment below and then we will check your answers. Okay, so according to a basic math principles, we need to express from the second equation, let's express our b. So our b is equal to 2 minus a. And according to these principles, we need to plug in this instead of this b, we're going to plug in this 2 minus a into the first equation. So let's do this right now. As a result, we have a times, instead of b, we're going to plug in this 2 minus a from the, from the second equation. Okay, so we have 2 minus a and equal to, equal to 24. 24. Right now, let's simplify this equation, okay? We can easily multiply our mm, a by our parentheses. As a result, we have 2a minus a square is equal to is equal to 24, okay? Right now, it looks like a quadratic equation, yeah, because we have a square, we have a, we have a concept, but we need a little bit different order, yeah? So let's write this minus a square on the first position. So minus a square, then I think plus 2a, and this we're going to subtract minus 24 from both sides. So as a result, we have minus 24 on the left side equal to zero. And the final tricky move, we're going to multiply or divide both sides by minus one because we don't need this minus in the beginning. So we need to we need to multiply both sides by minus one. And then we change all the signs. OK, a square minus 2a and plus 24 equal to zero. Right now let's solve this quadratic equation. This is basic quadratic equation. So let's use our basic methods of coefficients. So we have a equal to one, b equal to minus two, and c equal to equal to 24. So let's plug in each of these coefficients into our spot. But first of all, let's find real quick of a discriminant. Discriminant is equal to b square minus four for ac. As a result, what do we have? b square, so minus two square minus 4 times 1 and times 20, 24. This is our discriminant, but if you look closely, we have minus 2 square, we have 4 minus 4 times 24, we have 96. So our discriminant is negative, so we have minus 90, 92. So our discriminant is negative, but doesn't matter, we're gonna find, we're gonna find a root, we're gonna plug in our discriminant into this all known spot, I would say, because this is all known formula. So a, a first and second equal to minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and a lower a lower to a as a result we have minus b minus minus 2 from here plus minus square root of discriminant minus 92 92 and we divide all of this by 2a 2 times 1 2 times 1 right let's simplify it minus minus we have plus so we have 2 plus minus square root of minus 92. How can we express this? How can we how can we rewrite it? We can easily divide it by 2. So let's see what will happen when we divide this 92 by 92. We're going to divide by, by 2. As a result, what do we have? 46. Yeah, we have 46. Once more by 2, we have 23. And that's it. It looks like 23 is a prime number, so we can't divide it by 2, 3, 4, 9. Yeah, we have... By 23, we have 1 times 1. So 92 can be written as 2 times 2 times 23. So saying in other words, we can write it as 4 times 23. So 4 times 23, and we're going to divide it by, by 2. Right now, in terms of school properties, so when you have a square root of a times b, so when, when you have a multiplication, you can easily write it as square root of a times square root of b. So you can easily split it, okay? And right now, let's do this property right here. Let's apply it. We have 2 plus minus square root of 4 times square root of 23 equal to uh, all over all over 2. Square root of 4 equal to 2. Okay, so we have 2 plus minus 2 square root of 23. Yeah, and of course, don't forget about right here minus because I forget a little bit about it. We have right here uh, minus 1. We have minus 1 right here and it changed a lot of a lot of things because we're going to have right here a complex unit. Okay, I forget a little bit about it because we have a negative negative thing. So it means that we have right here a complex unit and a lower all over 2. And right now everything is great. We can easily divide our numerator by 2. So we can write it as 2 over 2 plus minus 2 square root of 23 times i over over 2. Okay, we can easily cancel it from here, cancel it from here, and our final answer, 1 plus minus 
uh, i square root of 23. This is our answer, i square root of 23. Okay, so don't forget about this minus, because with this minus we have a complex complex value. This is our imaginary imaginary unit right here. We have we have our i. Okay, these are our two roots. Let's write it. Let's write our uh, a first and a second. So we have a first. Let's go with the positive sign. So we have one plus i square root of twenty three, and with the negative one a second equal to one minus i square root of of twenty three. So we have two. We have two roots, and right now don't forget about our b, because our question uh, we're gonna solve in terms of a and b, but b equal to 2 minus a. Yeah, we have 2, 2 minus, 2 minus a. So right now let's plug in instead of this a, let's plug in these two cases. We're gonna have like b first and b, and b second. So right here let's start with the b first. So b first equal to 2 minus a first, 2 minus a first. So b first is equal to, we have 2 minus, 1 plus i square root of 23. As a result, we have b first equal to 2 minus 1 minus i square root of 23, and this expression right here, 2 minus 1, is equal to 1. So as a result, b first equal to 1 minus i square root of 23. So this is our b, b first. And right now, with the same principle, let's solve our second part. Let's find our uh, b second. So b second is equal to 2 minus a second, okay? 2 minus a second, let's plug in it, so b second equal to 2 minus 1 minus i square root of 20, square root of 23, and right here we're gonna have b second equal to 2 minus 1 plus i square root of 23. Right here we have 1, so as a result we have b second equal to 1 plus i square root of 23. So these are our two pairs of roots, and right now let's write up a final answer, and then we're gonna check it real quick. Okay, so our a and b, our a and b is equal to, we have the first one, a first, b first, so we have 1 plus i square root of 23, 1 plus i square root of 23, and the second one, the b first, 1 minus i square root of 23, okay? And the second pair, the same thing, but with different signs. So we have 1 minus i square root of 23, and we have 1 plus i square root of 23. So these are our uh, solution to this question, but right now let's check it real quick, okay? Maybe a lot of students want to see a proof, so let's check it. So let's see this quick, quick proof. Uh, first of all, let's write it so we have a plus b equal to 2 in the beginning, and a product a times b equal to equal to 24. First of all, let's check real quick our our addition. Let's do this. Let's start with the with the addition. And we don't need to check both of these pairs because we have addition. So 2 plus 3 equals to 3 plus 2 doesn't matter. We need to check only one of these because we have absolutely the same but it looks like mirrored. Yeah, we have plus minus minus plus. Let's check for example uh, this one. So 1 plus i square root of 23 plus 1 minus i square root of 23 equal to equal to 2. Let's see. Okay, let's cancel this i square root of 23 with the positive with the negative and as a result we have 1, we have 1 equal to 2. So addition is absolutely great for us. Addition is absolutely great. Right now let's check real quick our multiplication, okay? So as a result we have 1 plus i square root of 23 and times 1 minus i square root of 20 square root of 23, okay? And if you look closely, this is our school identity. I hope you remember it, a plus b times a minus b, and this identity looks like that, a square minus b square equal to a minus b, or a plus b times a minus b, and we have absolutely the same case right here, so we can consider it as a difference of two squares, and this one need to be equal to 24, we have one square minus i square root of 23, we need to raise this to the second power, equal to 24, as a result, what do we have right here? We have 1 minus i square times square root of 23 raised to the second power equal to 24. And right here, i square equal to minus 1. So as a result, our, our sign is going to be plus. So 1 plus square root of 23 to the power 2 equal to 23. So we have 1 plus 23 equal to 24 and everything works absolutely perfectly so our multiplication is also is also great and great for us so this is my solution to this question i don't have enough space to rewrite our answer so i'm gonna write it right here so this is our this is our answer right here at this at this point this is our mm, pairs of solutions we have the first one we can we have 
we have the second one so i really hope you you understand my explanation i really hope you learn something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of questions like more than 500 videos on my youtube channel different question olympiad mathematics entrance examination so i really hope you enjoy it and if you do you can easily write to respond in the comment below let's discuss a little bit about this type of question it's also really great and really really kind of you when you when we discuss a little bit about mathematics i really enjoy it and i i want to say thank you and i really appreciate your response and i really appreciate your your approach and your your kind okay so thank you everyone for your time wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself and have a great day see you in the next videos